Welcome to Voice of the Nation. Today, I'm with Kunjun Jaripon, Jarukon Sakun, Chairman and CEO of WHA Corporation. And I'm really, really delighted to have her this morning because she quite busy. And let's start with the first question. How do you feel about being one of the four uh, female leaders in Force Magazine, let's have uh, at least uh, 50 over 50? <laughs> Hi, Swatika. I think this is the earliest interview that I ever had to interview before. Because <laughs> for your question, I think as I feel honored, I thought your folks recognize me, and I think many, many women also recognize in folks, right? But this time, it seemed like quite uh, interesting because of a uh, uh, list like about your bit Jeffy, right? <laughs> so, hmm. Thanks for right. doing that, Jeffy, something like this. <laughs> and so, I, I also was the list in the folks of uh, the year 2020, but that year is like 20 for around 20 uh, women in, the, in, in Southeast Asia. And also like about your the, the pro something like that. And that time is not like recognized like, like about your age over 50. <laughs> <laughs> but if you order. <laughs> okay. How how do you find how do you define success and achievement? I think that for success has just more than just achievement. Achievement is similar like you set the target or the team target, probably any target, and you achieve it. But success, it seems like uh, you have many, many, so uh, like about the psyche, so maybe the, the, the passion, something, and you success, and feel more than happy, than just only achievement. Mm -hmm. So you you have, you've been a successful business uh, woman, and you must have some secrets to tell other people. Uh, about to be successful or to achieve something uh, for for short what do you uh, how how what you gonna tell tell them to be uh, you, you need to be successful before 30 or you need to be successful before 50 or what your suggestion or recommendation or advice for them I think that you need to classify yourself first. What success you or what about the success that you like and would you like to be? That's I, I always say that your success is my success, not the other success and complete compare with the others. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you cannot have uh, like a feel happy anymore. Mm -hmm. You feel just really uh, inferior or just maybe you buy your success like the other blah, blah, something. So first of all, you need to classify yourself. What about your thing? What about your passion? What are you like to be? Just only yours. So the thing that you set your target, right? Mm -hmm. And you know what about the ability? What are your strengths? Not your weakness, right? Mm -hmm. And then you set the target, or you set like about the idea, the, 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 the aim that you want to be, and then you can succeed in everything. Just believe in yourself and know what you are, who you be, who you are. Right? Otherwise, you not I think that you can you cannot feel the success in your life. That's very good so advice. Right? I, always, I always feel success in my life in every step that I pass because of I always set the target. Or always said, what about I think what I think? Okay, and I always feel successful every time. I see, I see. So you you are in the and that's industry that's supposed to be like male dominated, a lot of men. And how would you like to tell female professionals at work in such environments? Mm -hmm. From my point of view, I don't think male and women have any difference. Just know that's what about your ability. And you just put that, right? So I think it's women can do anything, a lot of things. Men can do everything, right? But think about for, for do the business or work, something like this. I don't think that for the gender mm -hmm. can be like a Women will feel the uh, inferior from women. I don't think so. Even though industry is right there, right? I think that you need to work smart, right? And you know what what you you, you need to do. Mm -hmm. What about your business model? You understand it or not? And then if you know what about that one, you can do anything. Even though the male or the the man uh, works or something. Seems like we don't know like about food, uh, food destroying or like about the use about the muscle, something like that, right? But I have my have brain, right? So you can, can we can smart everything, right? You can smart and work smart with yes. your ability. 
Right, right. So you have at your uh, office. Do you have a lot of female uh, staff? Sure, I think that's more than fifty percent is female. Wow, wow. <laughs> that uh, yes, right. Uh, right. But it's up to up to their job. Support mm. that they're uh, about the industrial industry, right? They need to do operation. Okay, that's male, right? Must support in the office for the admin staff, accounting, finance, something more soft than is the woman, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, right. During the COVID uh, COVID nineteen pandemic that affects many many businesses uh, of large and small scale, your business still performing very well. Can you tell us your key factors that uh, to manage your business in this tough time? I think that because of our business model, we have four business up is balanced very well. Because so when you do business, you need to not rely on just only one uh, business, right? I always say that I do I, I do business with uh, all oh, things that's nearly 30 years, right? <laughs> so I, I have my, I face many, many cases, right? And that you need to know. I think that's the first one you know to need to look in the big picture, right? So otherwise you cannot uh have about your idea the, the when you face the crisis, you cannot uh handle with it. Right. So for this many years ago, a couple of years ago, for my and for my interest, I got interest on so, so every year that I think uh, we have a many cases that is best, right? So what mm -hmm. we need to know what are your business model can pass any cases or not. For this couple of years ago, I really strongly like interest about the, the technology. Mm -hmm. Right. Seeing me, I, I, I saw that it seemed like the technology used to go like the exponential. That's mm -hmm. why the BCA group this couple of years. I always uh, focus more on about innovation, about mm -hmm. digital, something like that. that. That's why we do about a lot about digital transformation or about the digital innovations, right? And when, when the COVID came, so for the operation or anything, we can handle with it. But for the business model, we have four business models, right? Logistics, industrial research, nutrients power, and digital, some effect by COVID, mm -hmm. like about the industrial research. Industries that have, have about the, I think that's the, just only the temporary effect because of cannot travel, right? The, 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 the foreign direct industry they cannot travel to our country. So it, it affects just for the temporary, but for long term, it's so, so far so good for our mm -hmm. industries that because of the COVID, because of trade war, it seems like the relocation for our investment from China to Southeast Asia, right? So it seems like it's good in the next, in, in this year, prolonged. And for the logistic, right, mm -hmm. the release of the e-commerce, right, mm -hmm. score this transit and e-commerce score very really fast. So that's why we got a lot of benefits of logistic team, something like this. So when you do business, you need to mm -hmm. look about your business model. You have to port balance each other or not. And similarly, we actually, we will support quite well. And also we collect about the recurring income and not recurring income. That's mean like support that's on the, the business, something like this. We still have recurring income to support on um, the operation or something. And so, so the most important thing that's, I think that the technology, right, mm -hmm. should be the most important thing that's for the, the, the owners or the, 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 the top management need to think about. Not, not only COVID, COVID not, not uh, I think, uh, destroy or I think, disrupt anything. It just tests out and it just stopped activity. Right. If you look back, you know, ten years ago, twenty years ago, it seemed like about the the like the Kumyakum crisis, right? Mm -hmm. right? On collapse because of the financial financial institution were on collapse. But this thing just already stop activities, and you see, even though we face it Omicron today, it seemed like oh no, it's like about not serious something like that's not about the 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 deadliest is really low. I think the support is only two uh point one percent is seen like it's okay really common for about like a full something right so it will be back really fast so I think that's now that the COVID not affect for, for us too much because of we don't need to about the tourists the hotel or like that type of things right so um when you tell your staff about uh, the change because you you have brought lots of new technologies for your business and human and technology sometimes working together well, sometimes against one another, not adjusting themselves to cope up with or keep up with. How do you tell your staff that uh, you have to adjust yourself? We're going to bring computers, uh, data to work, and then 
you have to keep up with this. A lot of people just think that, oh, when COVID hit us, we have to stop and then technology are replacing human. So how do you tell your staff about this one? I told my staff many years ago about <laughs> technology. Right? At first, this thing security like top down. Many says that for the digital something transformation, you uh -huh. need to top down, right? right, I agree. right. But for us, for me, I'm not top down, only top down. I say in Taiwan, top down. <laughs> Like this. <laughs> and first of all, you need to train mindset of the people uh -huh. of your uh, management, executive uh -huh. management. Otherwise, they will block everything. <laughs> so I train my set, uh, my set of my C level, my uh -huh. CEO in the group side. If he uh -huh. has uh, many CEO and a C level, train their mindset first, right? And the others, we just like about that. That's I told you that we do digital innovation. At first, they don't, they didn't know. That's why they need to do. That's I top down and took down, not only top down. <laughs> Should have that word in English too, took down. <laughs> Right. <laughs> oh. And then Sierra right. and Conisis. And when we first, uh, first about the, the crisis this time, they oh, yes, that's why uh, Pitun always say that, mm -hmm. to share all the mindset, everything. So that's why last year we do about digital transformation, all the mm -hmm. roadmap and thing. We got a lot of uh, support from our people. Not only top management, all the people, the else, we have like uh, many initiatives, uh, 33 initiatives that uh, our people uh, have there, they involve each, uh, together, right? So we are quite successful there, and then we do the digital transformation. Thanks a lot for joining us today. I have learned a lot about your company and your vision. Thanks all for joining us today. I hope you have more time. And stay tuned. We're going to have a long interview with Kunjun for uh, next following week. Okay. Thank, thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you so much, Kat. Uh, so